How's it going? Good, man. You want to go fishing? Let's do it. All right. I'll be there in five. All right. See you, bud. <laughs> see you, bud. Okay, so it's about uh, just before 5 a.m. I'm heading over to pick up Noah, and we're gonna go out uh, try some cod fishing. I don't usually get up this early to go do this, but it's been super, super rough and windy during the middle of the day in the afternoons, um, and just just impossible to keep the boat still. What we're hoping for here is that by getting up super, super early. And you know, we sort of picked picked the calmest looking day looking at the marine forecast that we'll be able to get out to the good good fishing grounds and, and just sort of sit there and, and jig bottom. That's the plan. We'll probably be fishing somewhere between anywhere between 100 and 200 feet of water, uh, right out at the mouth of St. Margaret's Bay, right basically where it becomes open ocean. Um, we're hopefully gonna get into some cod, so We'll take you guys along and give you an update once we get out on the boat. Make sure nobody stole our bait. What other bait do we got? Got some mackerel from last night. What's up, buddy? What do you think, man? I think this is it. This is... How does it look on the... Uh... It looks good. We went from like 
230 up to 145. Just nudge us around a little bit. Just poke around the bottom a little. Is the seal a good sign? Is it a good <laughs> omen? I feel like it is. Like the seal's out here, there's gotta be something around. First time catching a cod, uh, second time saltwater fishing, and really what you do is just get a chunk of meat, put it on the bottom, and then just jig it, and then you wait for the fish to, you wait for a little tap, and when that tap comes, you let her take it, you give her the one, two, and you set the hook with all your might, and hopefully there's a fish on there. Ripping lips. Just ripping lips out here, Tuesday morning. All right, so let's take a look at the setup, maybe. Starting at the bottom, we've got, I've got a five ounce weight, piece of line, and then I tied on bait hook number one, and then about another foot up, so that's one foot, another foot up, a second hook. We got something good happening. If this is just a giant sculpin, I'm going home. What do we say, what is it? The joy of saltwater fishing, you never know. Oh! Oh! Woo. Oh! Yeah, buddy. There. North yes. Codfish. There we go. Hell Finally. yeah. That's it right there. Top lip. <laughs> Got him. Hell yeah, man. That was quick. Oh! Fish on. Yeah, this might be Noah Booth's first uh, first codfish. This ain't no sculpin, I'll tell you that. No, no sir. Ah, that's a cute little one, Noah. First cod for this Ontario guy. And the bonus Pollock. Putting up a fight, whatever it is. I think it's better than the last one. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> we go Hold her up. Jeez. Look at that thing, eh? See that lateral line? Nope. Into the live well, the cod fisherman himself. Cranking out the cod this morning. Woo! So we're looking for a ledge here where we come from around 160, 170 feet up to about 90 and it's just out past the green buoy. So there it's coming up now. Okay, there's our ledge. There's 100 feet. All right, folks, Noah's into a big one here. Of the day for me. When you hooked into him, we were around 100 and we just hit that ledge. Nice cod. Is that guy yet? Here yeah. We go. Nice one, man. Yeah, he hammered it. Are you uh, are you bored of this or, or what? Uh, no, I think we should uh, continue to catch. Yeah. You really took her, eh? There you go. Nicely done. It's a nice looking cod. That is a nice cod, man. How do you describe your baiting skills? My baiting skills? Yeah. Do you feel like you're an adequate baiter, a good baiter? I'm working towards being a master baiter, but my skills definitely still lack. I find with this bait, it's all about the thickness of the chunk of mackerel. And over the morning, I've been experimenting, and they've typically been falling apart like this guy. But they've been catching, so I'm not going to complain. Do you think it helps that those mackerel sat in the live well overnight? They marinated in blood water. I think that definitely helps. All right, Noah's got one of the many nemesis of the cod fisherman next to Sculpin. Got a cunner. What is this called? Cunner. C-U-N-N-E-R. They just demolish bait. Maybe their main source of food is mackerel discs. 
<laughs> Maybe. I think so. Matt thinks he has another lunker on. Ooh, that's a nice one. I don't know if he's PB though. I don't think so, but it's a big fish. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think that's the second biggest of the day for sure. You think? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad guy. I'll take that. That is really nice. Yeah. They have big mouths. Yeah, they do. They take those in quickly. They really don't like going in there. <laughs> Got a potential double header on if I still have mine. Yeah, we're still on. Nice. Nice. Hey. Done. Woo, that's a contender, man. This is a good one. I think that's at least number two. I got sculpt. <laughs> <laughs> and he took my bait. Double sculpt. Dude, he slammed it. Yeah. Like I don't even think he hit the hit the bottom yet. That was a nice one. That is a nice one, man. There it is. Boom. So my personal best. Beautiful fish. Well done. Thank you, sir. All right, Noah's got something on. We're not quite sure, but it's big. There's a lot of weight. Oh! That's a nice cod, man. Cod and, and a pollock. And a pollock. That is a big fish. That's a big fish, man. We are hammering them. Yeah, we've got... I don't know, four that size, yeah. at least. Let's see, we're still in the honey hole here. I'm gonna send one down. We caught one before, we're down in 130 feet now. And uh, usually the action dropped off when we hit that hit that depth, but this guy just hammered it. You think that's a big one too? It feels big. Oh Man, yeah. that might be the biggest <laughs> of the day. <laughs> All right. I think this is a PB. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, he's huge. Jeez. 130 feet down. Jesus. That's a big fish. That is Oh, that's a tuna, dude. Really? Just cleared the I saw water. That. Saw the whole fish. Like, he came two feet out of the water. Oh my god. This is nuts. Yeah, when you said you saw a tuna last time we were here, I thought you were just drunk off the juicy IPA. <laughs> <laughs> just the spot. Yeah. So Matt, would you say that was a successful trip? I think it was very successful. That was a, man, that was a hell of a morning fish. Did we get a final tally? How many we got? I think we're gonna have to stack them up. Luckily, got my uh, handy dandy Bass Pro mobile fillet table. This is pretty slick. What we'll do is I put that there, and then take our drain hose over the side. 
So I think we did all right. That is a lot of cod. So Matt, what's the strategy with filleting these guys? I usually just rib them, take the ribs off, and then uh, skin them. And then there's just that little strip of pin bones that's left. And you see, so you just take a little, little strip of meat out. That's the game plan. So get all the way up in behind the head. So I like to cut like right up into behind the head there, get all that meat, and then just run down until you kind of meet the tops of the ribs from the back here. And then when you get to about here, you can just push the fillet knife right through. And then from there, you're just slabbing it off like you would normally past the ribs. And then it's just a matter of trimming it off the ribs here. So it's already, there's no bones in there? No, there'll still be pin bones through here, but we'll take those out after. I think that's a matching set there. I just cut a little, cut a little tag, get your fingers in there, and then kind of get your knife blade pretty flat to the table and not a lot of pressure. It's mostly just pulling on the skin and side to side, work the knife through it, and it'll separate the meat from the skin. Just like that. This guy's got some bones left in it. So this one, we took the most of the ribs out. There's one rib left right there. But what's left are the pin bones that run up through here, and you can feel them through their lateral line. They stop right about there. So I just run the knife along each side. Take that off. There's another boneless, boneless fillet. Just like that. Pieces of bone left in there. A little bit of skin there. Take that off. Yeah, so it was a great morning. We went like way out to open ocean, caught a whole bunch of cod. Uh, came back here, we set up the uh, the fillet table there, cleaned them all up. So we've got what we figure six, seven pounds of uh, boneless, skinless cod meat, ready for fish tacos or whatever else. And then uh, yeah, that's about it. We're gonna pack up, head home. It was a good morning of fishing though. Before work, kind of before work. Yeah, it's gonna be a late start to the work. Day.